Hi students, last time we have seen there are six cardinal points in case of the optical system. We have seen what are the focal points, two focal points, what are the two principal points and today we are going to study the nodal points and the nodal planes that is N1 and N2. So before going to that, you uh, one thing remember that if suppose this is the optical system here and if this is the principal axis here, if the object is placed here and if suppose the ray of light considered from this point, axis point and if suppose this is the angle is nothing but theta 1 here and we are getting the image somewhere like this, if suppose this is the image that is I, then after refraction here it will meet this ray here and which makes the angle that is nothing but theta 2 suppose here. So we have considered the two rays, one starting from this point which makes an angle theta 1 with the axis and after refraction it makes the angle theta 2 with the axis to get the image. Then the ratio tan, tan theta 2 divided by tan theta 1 is known as here the angular magnification. It is, it is denoted by the alpha. Here, it is known as the angular magnification. Angular magnification. Angular magnification. If here the height of the object is suppose y1 and height of the image is nothing but y2, then it is related to the lateral magnification and it is denoted by the m. m is equal to here the lateral magnification. Lateral magnification and it is the ratio of height of image to the height of object that is y2 divided by y1 like this. So in case of, the, so these are the definition of the lateral magnification, angular magnification. The principal points h1, last time we have seen h1 and h2 are the points on the axis here. If suppose this is the principal axis, here is nothing but h1 here is nothing but the h2, then these are the points on the axis such that the lens system, the lens system here, the lens system has the unique positive lateral magnification. It comes out to be plus 1 in case of h1 and h2. h1 and h2 are the points on the principal axis such that the lens system has unique, unique positive lateral magnification. In case of the nodal points, these are the points on the axis. These are the points on the axis M1 and M2 are the points on the axis. This is the axis. If suppose this is the M1 and if suppose this is the M2, then these are the points on the axis such that the lens system, the lens system has unit. This comes out to be what here? Unit positive, unit positive angular magnitude. So these are the pairs of the points on the axis such that the lens system has the unique positive lateral, uh, unique positive angular magnification in case of N1 and N2, in case of this unique positive lateral magnification H1 and H2. It means here if the ray of light is directed towards one nodal point, it means here if the ray of light is directed towards one nodal point, it will be emerges out from the second nodal point here in a direction parallel to the incident one. So this is incident ray, this is refracted ray and the direction of both are the parallel so that this angle that is theta 1, this angle that is you are getting here the theta 2 that will be same, that will be same and tan theta 2 divided by tan theta 1 it comes out to be plus 1 in case of n1 and n2 it means in other words these are the pair of points on the axis such that if ray of light is directed towards one nodal point, it will emerge out from the second nodal point in direction parallel to the incident one. In this figure here, such a points are shown here. The optical system is defined by the principal planes. In case of the study of the principal points, we have seen that here. The inner optical system, here is optical system like this. So instead of that optical system, that optical system is defined by the first principal plane and the second principal plane. Plates which are passing to the S2 and perpendicular to the this axis 
principal axis is known as the second principal plane. So in this figure, this is second principal plane. The plane perpendicular to the axis and uh, the passing through the H1 is called as first principal plane and uh, from this plane the optical system can be defined. So instead of this curve position we can write the optical system can be defined in this way. Now this is nothing but first nodal point. A ray of light is directed towards here. It will be emerges out from the second nodal point uh, here such that theta 1 is equal to here return theta 1 theta 2 but in this case theta 1 is equal to theta 2 here because they are parallel to each other these rays here and also according to the properties of the first principle of plane ray of light is incident here at like this it will be emerges from the same way the property of the principal planes such that the refracted ray will be start from this but it goes to the in to in direction parallel to this so such a pair of the points L1 and L2 are known as the first nodal point and the second nodal point. Also, it is seen that the properties you must know the H1 N1, the distance of this, this H1 N1 here must always equal to H1 N1 is equal to distance between the second principal point and the nodal point that is H2 N2. It is always N2 here. So, this is one of the property of the cardinal points here. When the optical system uh, when the medium on both sides of the optical system is same means if suppose here is here and here is also here so the medium on both sides of the optical system is same then it is seen that h1 n1 is equal to h2 n2 and it is equal to 0 these are coincides these points are coincides with each other if the medium on both sides of the optical system is same then we are getting H1, uh, the H1 and 1 coincides. With the H1 and 1 coincides, H2 and 2 coincides, and distance between these two is already equal to distance between these two. two. Two properties. This is one property, and medium same. Then we are getting these points are coincides. Means H1 and 1 is equal to 0, is equal to H2 and 2, is equal to H2 and 2. Distance between them is 0, means they are coincides so with each other. If medium on both sides are equal, if medium is not equal, then distance between these two is equal to distance between H1 and H1 is equal to distance between H2 and H2. And this can be also proved by considering these triangles, but we are not going to details of that. So these points or the, these properties we are useful in the to study the further portion. So this is regarding the nodal points and the nodal planes. The nodal planes here the planes perpendicular to the axis and passing through and passing through n1 here is known as the first nodal point this is first nodal point the plane perpendicular to the axis and passing through n1 is known as first nodal point while the plane perpendicular to the axis and passing through n2 is known as the second here second nodal plane this is the second nodal plane so this is regarding as the nodal points and the nodal planes here. So this is the nodal points and the nodal planes. So far in the two, two three lectures we have seen what are cardinal points. There are six cardinal points or three pairs of the cardinal points F1, F2, H1, H2 and the N1, N2. And we have seen the definition of all that and that from the concept of cardinal points we derive, where we construct the image of any object placed on the axis this is the axis object is placed here here is the lens system how the image can be constructed that we will see in the next lecture okay thank you thank you very much